Hello guys, welcome to this Adobe Premiere course. In this video, I will show you how to open a new project. When we open the software, we get this window, so we click on New Project. Then we get this window right here, and we name the project from here. You can name it whatever you like. And we select the project location from here. For me, I will create a folder in the desktop. I will call it Adobe Premiere, for example. Then we click select folder and here we are. Now all the projects will be saved in this location automatically. Then we click OK and we wait a little bit. And this is the software main interface. Now we go to file, then new, and we select sequence. Shortcut is control plus N. Then you select the video quality from here. As you see, we have here so many qualities to choose from. For me, I will go with HDV 1080 pixels. So we click OK. And here we are, the software is up and running. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will talk about the software interface. We have multiple interfaces right here. This interface is for editing colors. This one is for the effects. This one is for the audio files. And this one is for the graphics. So we have here many interfaces, but the main one is the one for editing videos. And you can edit any interface you choose as well. For example, you can edit the space like this. Same thing in here. You can edit the timeline space, the files, windows, etc. And you can relocate the windows like this. You can put any window wherever you want. You can reset the interface to its original look. From here you click here. Then reset to save layout. And here we are. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how to add files to the software. So we go to our project. And we create three folders, one for each type of files, videos, images, and audios. Right click, new bin, then I will call it videos. Now I create the second folder. I will call it images. And the third one will be for audios. Now we select the videos folder, then right click and we select import. Since this is the videos folder, I will only import videos. I select the videos, then I click open. And here we are, the files are imported. Now we go to the images folder, we enter it, and then right click and we import the images we need. Here they are. 
Now we do the same thing to the audio files. Here they are, we click open and they are imported. All the files have been added. The audios, the images and the videos. I will adjust the space so you can take a good look. Here are all the files. I can change the view of the files like this. I can zoom in or out like this. So this is how we add files to the software. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hello guys and welcome to this video. In the last video we talked about how to add files into the software and put them in organized folders. Like in here. As you see we have two videos in the video folder and we have files in the image folder and the audio folder. Now I will show you how to add and organize files in the timeline. I already showed you how to add files to the timeline but it won't do us any harm if we saw that again. So all we do is we click on the file then drag it to the timeline. So the video is already in the timeline. The bottom tracks are for the audio files and the ones in the top are for the video and images. We put the video files in the top tracks and the audio files in the bottom tracks. As I said before, click on the file and drag it to add it to the timeline. You click play and here we are. Both the video and the image are there. We can control the timeline length from here. We click here and we can make the timeline look smaller or bigger, like this. I will leave it like this. Double click on the file track and I can change the file look like this. We change the preview of the files. The files look better like this. You can see what we have on the timeline. And double click again to return to the former look. You can apply this to all of the tracks. Double click to change the view or the look of the files. You can put the files wherever you like. All you have to do is click and drag the file and you can position it in whatever track you like. And you can also control its beginning time. For example, you can make it start at this time or whatever time you like. You have the time right here and you can put the track wherever you like. For example, I wanted to start at this time, I put it right here. I wanted to start from the beginning, I put it right here. You get the idea. Same thing applies to all types of files. I will add an audio file. I add it to the audio tracks, as I said. These are the bottom tracks. Double click to change its look. And I can position it wherever I want. I click play to run the files on the media player. Now if I wanted to delete any file, all I do is I select the file like this, then I click on delete from the keyboard. And here we are, the file is deleted. And I can delete multiple files by selecting all of them and clicking delete from the keyboard. And Ctrl Z to bring them back. Now if I want to add another track, all I do is right click and I select add track. And here we are, we have another track. 
as you see we had three at first now we have four now if I want to add another track all I do is right click and I select add track here we have the fifth track whenever you need a new track you right click and you select add track and if you want to add multiple track at once all you have to do is to right click then you select add tracks then you insert the track number you want to add and its location and you click OK for example I will add five tracks at once and here we are here are the five new tracks added you can edit the track size from here 